what I did at the moment to Saif. That was disrespectful to what mm -hmm. we had, mm -hmm. and I apologize for that. Honestly, I never came into the show thinking, oh, I want a relationship. Right. When I got into the house, the first person I was attracted to was Shex. <laughs> I saw DJ, and I need to own it with my chest. I was a bit carried away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, yeah. My, my head turned a little bit. <laughs> people how fun now how on that day my name is victoria is it but you can call me miss vic and this is unlocked so right now i'm about to catch up with our resident peacemaker the one and only doi thank you very much welcome thank to you. the show how was your journey in biggie's house it was intense I that's the first so. word yeah, yeah intense so. yeah. it was amazing mm -hmm. It was an emotional roller coaster. Right. So comparing your experience as a viewer and now a housemaid, what do you think was the most shocking realization for you? I now understand mm -hmm. and I really feel like I owe an apology to every ex housemate, housemate that I've so insulted because I'm like, it's not easy being <laughs> true, there. I promise that. you. Right. Okay. So let's talk about your connections in the house. Oh my goodness. Walking in the first day, mm -hmm. who would you say you connected to instantly in the house? I'd say Alison. Okay. okay. For sure. So which housemate did you think you will not get along with and shocked you because you guys became friends eventually? <sighs> did that happen for you? Yeah, Chomzy. Chomzy. Yes. So who did you think you would get along with and or maybe you were already getting along with this person and towards mm. the end you're like, nah, I can't be friends with this person anymore. Don't even be uh, in my space right now. I think I'll say Chi Chi. Okay. I just felt like in her life, she had had to defend herself so many All times. Time, right. So she's so it's used her to default setting. exactly. Right, yeah. So I had to. I understood her, right. and I just had to be patient with her. So it had just nothing understand. to do with Deji at all. No, at all, at all, okay. at all. Okay. So what was it for you? Did you feel like you needed a relationship in the mm -hmm. house to get ahead, or you were just coasting? Actually, cruising? no. To be honest, yeah. when I got into the house, the first person I was attracted to was Shex. You guys had we're, a bumpy we're good. start at first. It was almost like. You were lashing out at him, maybe for not choosing you, or not mm. even that. Maybe, you know, that passive aggressive situation. And then you guys eventually talked it out. I don't like it when people make comments loosely. Okay. So at the beginning, we got into arguments because I felt like he was making some loose comments. Right. It had nothing to do with me liking him or mm -hmm. him choosing Bella. I think mm -hmm. Bella is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But right now, we're, we're friends and we're yeah. cool. And I so really amazing to even see you were, you were playing a very vital role in that relationship. As yes. They are therapists, they are yeah. go-to person. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, but I feel like I almost remember, um, I kind of remember Bella mm -hmm. having a conversation with you about how not being able to be friends with you? Yes. So how did you guys move from that point to yeah. being their therapist now? Yeah. So you know what? I really, really appreciate Bella yeah. for like coming to me. Mm -hmm. She said to me, oh, you know, we can't be friends because she used to like Shags. And I understand that that's the case with most people, but right. I don't I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think Bella is amazing and I really like the girl. Mm -hmm. So I just told her, you know, we can't be friends. Like, I no longer like Shags. I just thought mm -hmm. it was attractive right. the first day. So you seem to be my girl. I can't, I can't comment on that. I can't You're comment on that. <laughs> oh it's, your, it's your thing. But what was it about size okay. that you say drew you in? For me, like the first HOH game we played, right. I just noticed the confidence. I'm okay. really into confident men. Okay. And he's very confident, he's very mature. And you so feel exactly. like if he was sitting in the house, you guys would have continued? Yeah, there's a possibility. Okay. Yeah. It seemed like um, Saif was still very much in the house when Deji came and literally knocked all of you guys off your feet. And then you almost denied Saif even. I can't even say almost, you kind of denied him. Okay. But what was going through your mind at that time? Was it like you were not sure? Um, what would be with Sai, mm -hmm. or they just made you feel like, oh, I'm going to risk it all with this guy. What happened was I wasn't sure if it was going to work, right. to be honest. Right. But yeah, he wasn't in the house when Deji came. I saw Deji and I need to own it with my chest. I was a bit carried away. Yeah. Yeah, because of what I, I saw mean, physically. I mean, it's tall, guy, it's good looking, mean, you know. I mean, yeah, I was, I was, yeah. My, my head turned a little bit. So you, did, you don't think it was Saif in that moment? Like if Saif sees this right now? He, no, he I actually said to Deji that, you know, and I like Saif, but I want to see what is there with both of us also. And I said the same thing to Saif. Yeah. So do you think there's anything that you can hear right now about any of the housemates that will shock you based on your relationship with them? Mm, not really, to be honest. Um, back to Bella and Sheg. Remember when um, Eboka kind of mentioned to Bella, mm. asking her why she wants to take all the insults from Sheg and mm. calls her names? Was that a shocker to you to hear that it wasn't always, you know? Yeah. 
as a relationship should be or feel or whatever. To be honest, I was a bit surprised. Right? Yeah, because what I see is just two people that really Stuck care about each other. Each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But I think that they're not perfect human yeah. beings. Yeah. I don't think that defines what they feel mm -hmm. for each other. I think mm -hmm. they truly, genuinely care about each other. So how did this, um, for, I, think, I think what the viewers fell in love with, it was just basically watching you guys go from strangers to mm -hmm you know, cordial to yeah. friends to now hugging and whatever and seeing that the usually elusive cheesy, you know, has this soft spot for somebody in the house, yeah. you know, and you finally having someone that you could just mm -hmm. hang with. So how was that procession for you and how, when did you realize that, yo, this guy is actually not bad. Give me the tea. Okay, so after we merged mm -hmm. the both houses, yeah, yeah. you know, I didn't really, I didn't know who he was. Right. Every time I'd seen him during the task, he was always either making a, like a joke. He yes, was always like the clown yes, yes. or he was like frowning in his face. Biggest writer, so I didn't know I mean. which one right. he was. But after we merged, mm -hmm. you know, I had a few people. Modella told me, oh, he's really cool. Right. So I really wanted to get to know him. Right. You know, he also told me, yeah, I've been watching you, you know, mm -hmm. during the games. I think you look nice, everything. It is really a friendship. Yeah. But cheese is the most amazing person ever. Right. I don't know anyone that wouldn't like Cheesy. We both realized that, mm -hmm. you know, we wanted to get to know each other mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we did and we have an amazing friendship. But do you feel like Cheesy wanted yeah. something a little more than a friendship? If I'm going to go by what he said in the house, yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. Was it that you didn't want a relationship with Cheesy or by that time you had bonded with Cheesy, you were kind of like over the whole shipping thing? I just didn't want to have a ship. Right. At, at that, that stage of yeah, the... Yeah, I didn't the... want it. So let's talk about the opinions that Cheesy had about you always seeming to be in the middle of everything happening mm. in the house. So do you think it was like a misconception that people had, the housemates and the viewers, mm. or you just always were dragged into situations that you didn't know how okay. to say no to? Honestly, I feel like it was a misconception. I don't think that I was inserting myself. I think people asked me and Cheesy yeah. advised me because he didn't like that people were saying that about me. So he said, oh, if you can take a step back. So did you take Cheesy's advice after that situation? Yeah, with certain people I did. Okay. With certain people that I was really close with, I, I couldn't take his advice. That's so what's your relationship like nice. with Elo Swag? Elo Swag, we're cool, actually. We're yeah. cool, we're good. Well, you guys seem to have nominated each other. Yes. Why is that? Okay. So for me, I always have my two names before okay. I go in. Okay. But that day, they said three names. So I was like, oh my God, who do I mention? Mm -hmm. So right there sitting there, I just thought, who do I think is a competition? Who do I think, you know, has been so doing so well? Personal. So it wasn't personal at right. all. And he also nominated me. And yes, I understand. Exactly, I understand. Exactly. It's the game. Sometimes you nominate people that you really yeah. love. So let's talk about your eviction. It was like double homicide, wasn't it? So right. walking into level three, what, what emotions were going through your mind? Honestly, I just felt blessed. Right. I thought, you know when you think, oh, I'm done with the show. Right. And then you're like, oh, I'm not done with yeah, the show. So I just went, chance. my emotions went from like zero to hundred. Right. Because I always had it in my mind that, God, I want to spend at least two months on the show. Mm. So when I saw that I wasn't out, I was like, I'm Prayers so work, grateful eh? to whoever made this possible. So how about your brother? reaction from the other housemates, uh, Elisa <laughs> and Chomzi, because especially Chomzi really felt like, oh my God, I knew they can't evict me. I'm so important in the game. <laughs> yeah, of, anybody would watch, be excited. Anybody that thought they were out yeah. and they find out they're yeah. not out would yeah. be excited. So what was the highlight for you, this whole season, the eight weeks you spent in Biggie's house? Mm. Your happiest moment? My happiest moment yeah. would be the parties. Oh. I really enjoyed the parties. Which I enjoyed. Is this like, what? <laughs> I mean, I love partying with Sai. Who sure. wouldn't? Yeah, yeah you, guys, you, guys, you guys were fun. You guys were yeah. singers, so that's I good. really enjoyed the parties, the pool party and the be um, the club. The Saturday party. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, definitely the task. Mm -hmm. And also my time with Cheesy, I think is an amazing person. Yeah, I really want to see it's where amazing. the ship goes, though. even if it's friendship. It's like friendship where, where, for now, but we'll see, is, but it's an amazing it. person. So finding out he was Biggie's rider, how did that make you feel? <laughs> I was shocked because I'm like, Oh my god, yeah. I was surprised. Okay. Wish, 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 wish. Good luck to you both. Thank you very much. Everything for you guys, oh, ship or not. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So at this point, I want to ask you who was your favorite housemate and who was your least favorite housemate? Hmm. Favorite housemate. Okay, so, so I really like four. I'll give you three. Three. Okay, four. Tell me. Four. Tell me. Okay, there's Beauty, there's Scythe, there's Allison, and there's Cheesy. Okay. So four of them. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Who are you going to miss the most? from this experiment, being in the same space with them all the time. 
it's between cheesy and Alison. Okay. You no, know, but I'm with Alison now, so I'm good. So I say cheesy. Right, cheesy. Because that's the only person that I'm with. Okay. So cheesy. Who yeah. was the hardest to get along with for you? It wasn't easy to get along with anybody, to be honest. Because right. you had to understand people. Yeah. Understand where they're coming yeah. from, why they react, the way they yeah. react. Yeah. I, I won't mention anybody in particular. I think okay. we all... Okay. I don't know. I really don't have an answer to that. Okay. Aha, Doreen, before I show you what's happening on the streets of social media, mm -hmm. I want to show you something we call the eye of God because, you know, you get one thing where you deny it for me at the beginning. I said, let me just skip hey. points. Mm -hmm. mm. So watch this video for me real quick. I literally spent for like two hours at the party. Like, it's not mm. like in the house where we can spend time and talk and talk like that. I don't know him. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that's Thank what you. I was asking about. Like, okay, you know, so almost like you, you denied. So. Honestly, I think I had the wrong choice of words. Mm -hmm. Saying I don't know him was wrong because I do know him. Mm -hmm. But I think what I meant to say in, the, in that moment was yeah, I haven't gotten, gotten, to, gotten, gotten know to know him, him right. yet properly. That's definitely wrong, mm -hmm. what I did mm -hmm. at the moment to mm -hmm. Saif. Mm -hmm. That was disrespectful to what mm -hmm. we had. Mm -hmm. And I apologize for that. But See, tell Saif. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Terry, right now I want to show you your Instagram. Oh my goodness. So what was your following like before Biggie's house? I had 1,000, I think 1,400 or so. Yeah, I think so. 1,400? Yeah, before Big Brother. Wow. So I'm about to show you your mileage oh my so goodness. far. Are you ready for this medical radiographer? Yes. Three, two, one. Okay. Mm. Say that. Oh, this is really impressive, to be honest. Because I don't know, I just felt like my followers would never grow from 1,400. <laughs> and how many is it now? 162,000, and I'm really grateful. So, what's next for doing? What, what do they do? Uh, they call themselves Doing's Delights. Oh, really? Yes. Mm, so, what okay. are they expecting from doing moving forward? Um, honestly, I want to work with brands, brand influencing. I don't mind being an ambassador, yeah. also. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Um, hosting, speaking, presenting, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm very well spoken. Yeah, so yeah, are. that's something I would like to like yeah. look into. I mean, you had a lot of practice in Biggie's house. Yes, so. I did. Yes, yeah. I did. Okay. Yeah, that. Also, I want to start my own business. Okay. Fashion is really like everything to me. I like dressing up. I like nice. looking good. Nice. So yeah, so maybe release a clothing line. Okay. Good luck with yeah. everything. We're rooting for you. So I wish you the Thank very you so best. Much. I also forgot mm -hmm. sunglasses because it's like ah, I love sunglasses so much. So yeah, okay. I'm hoping that oh, I can be really something. Yeah, you have to choose it by your side now, nah, so you can do some. He business. has me on lockdown. <laughs> you help me. I know. <laughs> I'm Thank sure he will. So Thank much. you so much. Thank Joey. you so much. All right, so look into your camera and tell your fans how they can find you on social media. Okay, so yeah, first of all, I need to say thank you so much to everybody that you know voted for me, everybody that even did as much as tweeting about me or posting a comment about me, whether it's love, whether it's hate, I understand and I really appreciate you guys and God bless you guys and I hope that God meets you at the point of your needs. You can reach out to me on any of my um, social media platforms. My username is officialdoing underscore. Yeah. So yeah, please reach out to me and I'll always, I'll try to respond to as many as I can. I'm so grateful. Thank you guys so much. All the all the best. All the kisses. All the love. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. You're already doing the TV presenter. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, guys. That's Thank all we you. can take today with Doi. Make sure you follow her to see all the good stuff she'll be up to. Follow DSTV and Go TV because where else are you gonna see this? And follow me as well because who else is gonna do this for you? All right. Until I come your way again next time with some fresh hot tea. Miss Vic, signing out. Goodbye. Mwah.